Today I'm going to be reviewing this Specalite, I think it's how it's pronounced, 50 foot garden hose. And it's going to be a metal one. This was actually sent to me by the brand. So I'm going to go and take it out of the box here, show you everything that you're going to get inside, what it's going to look like, and why I prefer the metal garden hose over the traditional ones. So this is everything that's going to come inside. So you're going to get the hose itself, again, 50 foot. It's going to come with the a spray nozzle, come with a Teflon tape. And it's also going to come with a couple of those little washers as well. Um, so if you need those for connecting up your what your hose to your spout or whatever the case may be, always nice to have a couple of extra washers. Now, the main reason why I prefer a metal hose like this one over, see this plastic one here, is how rocky the ground is where we live at. So you can kind of see here, those rocks are up on the hill. Those aren't actually for decorations. It's just the ground is so rocky that those are the extra ones that we kind of pulled out of this area. So, and even so, you can see there's lots of rocks all the way throughout here. The issue with these regular rubber hoses is they can easily get punctured by all of that rock. So having this metal hose like that works a lot better in my opinion than say a rubber hose if you have rocky soil also the same is true if you live somewhere where it gets extremely hot it can cause that rubber to bake we used to live in arizona and so with living in arizona rubber hoses just didn't survive so you had to go with the metal one again because the ground was was pretty rocky but also the heat would just bake those and they would just crack all apart so let me go ahead and get this connected up test out the water pressure on this and then also test out that nozzle that it comes with so you got the water turned on now this one is actually going to have a little button you're going to be using on the back here so this is going to be like using your thumb so that's going to be a nice feature is it just pushes up and down with your thumb versus having to constantly hold it so if you know you're going to be watering a garden something like that that is a nice feature now that's going to be on the rinse obviously it's going to have a variety of different settings here so cone is just going to be like a light mist let's go over here to soaker this is going to be your you know kind of spraying it out everywhere flat mist shower that's going to be angle vertical shower again and then that's going to be back to rinse and rinse is actually going to be the strongest one on this one now it's again what's going to be really nice about this is if i don't want it to be quite so hard i can just use my thumb and push this down a tiny bit so it almost worked like a shutoff valve so you can just do a little bit so maybe you're trying to water something and you just want a little bit of water like towards the end or, end or something you can easily get it down to almost nothing so i definitely do like like the fact that it's going to include its little nozzle with this hose and then of course the hose is truthfully a pretty nice upgrade over say a traditional rubber hose like we have there